Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia and in today's video we are going to be doing another fragrance review. All right, so this perfume that I have right now, I did not have to order this perfume to do the review. My girl Melinda, you guys, Melinda has sent me so many samples and decants like out of the kindness of her heart. So I really, really want to thank you, Melinda, because you think about me enough to say, hey, and she just she reaches out to me and asks me if I want certain samples or whatever. And I'm like, and it's always stuff that I have not smelled or even a lot of them really heard of. So like today's fragrance, I've never heard of this fragrance and she sent it to me. I feel like she kind of knows my taste because it's like, <laughs> like, OK, girl, you did it. But like so the I don't know how to say this, so I'm just going to put the name down here. So this is the sample that she sent me. Well, actually, the decant. So she decanted this for me and sent it in this cute little container. Um, so, like I said, that's the name of it. The bottle looks like this right here. It's fancy looking. So this is a, it says the name is a, <laughs> it's for men and women. So this is unisex and the main accords are vanilla, sweet, fruity, powdery, fresh, citrus, iris, amber, green, musky. All right, this fragrance was launched in 2020. The top notes are green apple and lemon. Middle notes are orris root, damask rose, jasmine, and lotus. Base notes are vanilla, praline, tonka bean, and musk. Okay, you guys. First of all, I'm gonna say this smells really, really good. Like really, really good. I'm actually really shocked that this is unisex because this is a very fruity, fragrance it kind of reminds me of Mancera uh, Jardine exclusive but not as loud as exclusive and exclusive is kind of screechy a little to me I love it but I'm gonna admit that it is kind of screechy but oh, oh, y'all know I love it but that's kind of what this let me compare them so that I can really tell you guys because I don't know if y'all have heard of this or seen this before. Clearly I'm late to the party because had she not sent me this decant, I have never seen this before. Let's see, let me spray. One more, one more again. I'm sure that I feel like it is similar to Jardine Exclusive because of how fruity it is. You know, Jardine Exclusive is a really, really fruity fragrance. And that's why this kind of puts me in the mind of it. Um, they also has have some similar main accords other than the white floral. Uh, there was not white floral in this Rasasi, <laughs> but they do have some other similar main accords. I'm pulling up the notes on Jardine Exclusive to see what the top ones are. Okay, that is why I I was correct on say y'all have a really good nose. Oh my god, so I was correct. Two, like Jardine Exclusive has a lot of fruit in the top um, notes, but lemon and green apple are two of the notes that are in the top notes for Jardine, Jardine Exclusive. So that's what I'm really, really smelling in, um, in the comparison of the fragrance. So they are very similar. Clearly, that is why I felt like that is why this reminded me of Jardine Exclusive and it's because of the apple and the lemon, the green apple and the lemon top notes. You can definitely smell that. That's what I smell as soon as I sniff this. So that triggered my mind to think about that one. Um, I'm sure that the dry down is probably different because as this one is settling on my skin, it is starting, it's starting to change a little. I still enjoy what it smells like, but you can, it gets a little more um gourmand towards getting to the base notes uh because the base notes are vanilla praline tonka bean and musk it opens really really fruity because of the the fruit in the the top notes but it does soften down to a more of a gourmand smell on my skin it's not really really thick of a gourmand you can still tell the fruity but there's definitely a mix mix of green apple lemon vanilla and musk at the bottom um i really like this you guys this smells really really good and i feel like if you like jardine exclusive or you know what jardine exclusive smells like 
then this you would enjoy this i feel like it's a safe blind buy it smells really good you get like i said you get the mixture of the fruity and the vanilla and the musk in there and the musk is not a strong musk it's not one of those overpowering kind of funky musk that you know that i feel like we all pick out in a scent when we feel like we don't care care for it because of the musk it's not like that it's blended really well into the vanilla as actually because like at the bottom vanilla praline tonka bean and musk again I don't see why they're labeling this as a unisex scent because it is very fruity and sweet smelling but it's nice it's not screechy it's sweet and fruity and the vanilla and the musk and everything is calming the screechiness down so that's the difference between this and Jardine exclusive because and i'm not saying that this is a, they're duped or anything that is not what i'm saying but that's just me comparing this to something to kind of give you guys an idea of what it smells like if you have smelled that but this smells really good i feel like i feel like if you like fruity fragrances then this is a safe blind buy because you get the fruity and then you get the vanilla most of y'all i say y'all because i'm still in denial <laughs> most of y'all like vanilla fragrances so you get fruity and then you get the hint of vanilla and musk in there then it has i love jasmine scents you guys and jasmine is one of the middle notes in there so this is a really really good fra uh, fragrance to me I like it. I would enjoy it as a big bottle. I will be adding this to my list. This list is going to be so long if I keep on sampling these fragrances like I am. And we still got two more weeks to go on these videos. So strap on. Pull your bootstraps up, girls. <laughs> so if you trust my nose and you trust my opinion and my likes and dislikes on fragrances, then... I would say yes you can jump out there and buy this because this smells it smells good i'm so glad she sent me this and i'm glad it's in a decant and not a sample because i can actually get my spray on <laughs> with this because i really like this one so thank you again melinda you rock she is so sweet you guys um but yeah that's the end of this one you guys i think i've pretty much got straight to the point on this sample this if you guys have this fragrance or you've heard of it or got your nose on it let me know down in the comments what you think about it because i think i know y'all and i feel like y'all will like this one so yeah <laughs> all right thank you so much for tuning in to another fragrance sampling video you guys before you leave make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in tomorrow's video bye guys <laughs>